Hi guys, welcome to the session on how to write JNET test case for private methods. This is tricky interview question asked during the interviews to know whether the candidate has enough experience and the knowledge on access specifiers, reflection and JNET. So in order to write the JNET test case for private method, it looks like it is impossible because whenever you define any method as a private in class, you cannot access that method outside. But as per the code quality perspective and the uh, TTD test driven development, each piece of code what you develop, there must be a generic test case for it. So considering these two aspects, we need to find what are the alternative approaches to write the generic test case for the private methods. So one approach is calling the private method from the public method and write the joint test case for public method to cover all the use cases related to the private method. That is the one. And second one using the reflection. Let us go and see with an example. So I created a Gradle project and in this library.java we have two methods. One is the private method. Another one is the public method. And library test is basically to define the test cases. So first let us create the um, test case for public method. Public wide test sum of numbers. So writing the generic test case for the um, test case for the public methods is very simple. So let us create an object for library. library equal to new library and we can directly call the public method using the object library dot sum of two numbers 10 and 30 let us assign this uh, it is basically written the integer so int sum equal to I am assigning this value and just we need to assert this value. Assert equals I am expecting sum of as 30 and uh, let us give the sum value. Now sorry it is 10 plus 30 it is 40. Now let us go ahead and run this program. So this in test case will be passed. Okay. Now, this is the public method, but if I see here, there is a one public method and one private method. As per the first approach, what we can do is, we can call this private method from public method and write the J test case for this public method to cover the all the use cases with respect to this private method. That is the one approach. And here... I will pass a comma b. Now, ideally, what we are doing is we are calling the public. Um, we are writing the J test case for the public method by internally calling the private method, and this test case should contain all the use cases to to test this functionality. That is the one way. Now, let us go ahead and run this program now. So, the test case is passed. Now, the second approach is, if this is indirectly, we are mimicking some way and writing the test case for the this private method. But, for example, if this private method has a complex logic, then writing to the public method and internally calling may not cover all the use cases so which may lead to some functional or the some defects later point of time so that's the reason there is a another way we can write the j test case use uh, test case for the private method using the reflection so let us create one more test method test public wide test sum of two numbers and we are going to use the reflection 
to basically write the generic test case for the private methods. So first, in order to use the reflection, we need to get the method. How we can get the method using the reflection is, we need to call the library dot class dot get declare method and we have to pass the um, method name. So the private method name here is sum of two numbers and it basically accepts two uh, parameters integer uh, integer type. So here we have to provide the data type integer dot class comma integer dot class and this basically throws the some checked exceptions so let them add it to this um, throws class here basically it is going to throw no such method exception and security exception once we got the method now we can mimic this basically we have to in order to invoke the method we need to somehow we have to um, change the access specifier for that method so that's the reason method dot set accessible to true okay once we are setting this set accessible to true now we should invoke this method so in order to invoke that method we need the object and the parameters so object is library object we have to create library equal to new library and then we can invoke how we can invoke is method dot invoke it basically takes the object which is of the library and we have to pass the arguments here it basically takes two arguments that is 10 comma 30 so when we invoke this method it basically return as the let me add it is going to throw one more um, checked exception that is invocation target exception I am going to throw that that one also using the throws keyboard and it basically return as the sum let us change that to integer ok so now we can assert this value assert equals sum and the total is going to be expected value is the 40 and sum ok now let us go ahead and run this program right click run as genit ok now the two test cases has passed so in order to write the genit test case for the private methods just we have to use the reflection and we need to set this um, set access for that particular method we have to set set accessible to true and then we can create an object and invoke by passing the parameters to it and then we can assert this value so these are the two approaches basically we can uh, take based on the technical uh, based on the complexity of the logic written into this uh, private methods either we can call from the call private method from the public method and write the giant text case for the public method to cover the all the use cases of the private or by using the reflection we can use thanks for watching have a nice day